Rise and shine everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel, I'm Dari and today we're back with Wanners. Today we're getting into the rest of their newest album Pygmalion. We already checked out Erase Me and Unforgettable, the two songs that we got MVs for. And now we have some b-sides left, one intro and two b-sides. Yeah, and that's what we're gonna do today. We're also gonna check out just some more stages for Erase Me and Unforgettable to include these songs once more because why not? And yeah, I'm super excited to get into this and to listen to these songs. One of his B-sides have been really good so far from what I've heard. I'm especially curious about the first song that we're gonna get right into, which is the intro. And it's called Lethe or, or Lethe. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I think I've heard it's a river from Greek mythology or something like that. I'm not sure what the overall meaning of it is, what... Um, what the storyline with this river in Greek mythology is. But I'm super curious, maybe we're gonna find out in the song, maybe they're gonna give us some clues. Um, but I like that they are drawing from Greek mythology for this. Especially since the last album had a lot of inspo from the Garden of Eden, the Apple, and just that direction. Um, and now we're going into Greek mythology, I love that. Wanas's intros are always so insane. I think they are one of my top three groups when it comes to intros um, together with 80s and Dreamcatcher. I just... Ugh, they are just always so, so insane. So yeah, let's get into this. This is intro... Lethe, however you pronounce it. Ooh. Yeah, I already love this again. Oof, these strings. Ooh. Oh, Wano sounds so good. Ooh. 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 Ooh, I love the way he pronounces his way. I love the instrumental to this. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. That was another beautiful intro. Okay, let's check real quick though. Lethe was one of the five rivers of the underworld of Hades, also known as the Amelis Potamos, river of unmindfulness. The Lethe flowed around the cave of Hypnos and through the underworld, where all those who drank from it experienced complete forgetfulness. Oh, okay, that makes sense with the with the lyrics and um, erase me and everything. It was also the name of the Greek spirit of forgetfulness and oblivion, who, with whom the river was often identified. Okay, yeah, they even said it in the in the lyrics. Drink from the river of oblivion. Save me from dwelling in the past. So they, they want to forget. I think that um that's what I said in Erase Me as well, right? Interesting, yeah. I like I said I love the instrumental. I always love one intro instrumentals. They are just so insane. This was a great song to start the album. The next song is Erase Me. We've already checked out the music video, like I said. Um what we're gonna check out is Another performance of Erase Me. This is the Dance Ear live performance on 1DK. I'm guessing that means choreo and live vocals. And I mean, they already did that in the dance practice, which was super cool. But let's see how much they slay in this. Oh, I already love the sound of that. The way it traveled from left to right. Ah. <sighs> I love how they're building up the choreo from the ground. Sounds so weird. 
I love how you can also hear their footsteps and the little shuffling of the clothes and everything. It's just such a such a nice detail. Like not the detail, it's it just sounds so good. I don't know. <laughs> I love it. And the quality of this. Jesus. The way so hot. And then Edo comes in from the right side. <laughs> Their yeah, vocals are so clean in this. Oh, with the hand mic, let's go. so <laughs> wild. This part still hits so hard. And Kwanung hits so hard in the choreo. Oh. Like, how can they sing this clear while also pulling off the choreo? It's so good. Oh, I love this part. That I love this outfit of Sion. This is so good. I really love how, how they made the instrumental so much more quiet and faded out so you can really focus and hear um, their vocals. Oh, the fade to the bright set. Oh, that choreo is so pretty. Killed by Soho once again. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> That was cool. That was a really cool performance. <laughs> I always love these these performances that are that have a little twist to them that are a little bit different it's not just them straight up performing the song on, on a music show but i just focusing so much on the live vocals oh that was so good speaking of normal performances we are gonna watch another performance for unforgettable this was on tong tong culture let's go Not sure if I've seen the choreo for that song yet. Ido's outfits these days. <laughs> also, this is totally random and has nothing to do with this video, but Ido cut his hair. I'm so sad. It will be greatly missed. Rest in peace, you beautiful locks. <laughs> I'm so obsessed 
to a funus part of the song. get over this man's vocals. sexy when he wants to. That was loud. I love the choreo for this. This is really cool. Maybe I should have watched this first. <laughs> because definitely the quality of Erase Me, of that Erase Me performance was so crazy that this definitely was <laughs> a little low. But it was still fun just to see the choreo um, for the song and just to listen to the song again because I do really like it a lot. And I think I do enjoy it more than erase me let's get to the two b-sides on this album that we don't know yet this song is called echo let's get into this <laughs> interesting interesting instrument huh? oh the slow build up in the background <laughs> <laughs> the way he emphasizes the word sauce. <laughs> it started off so chill, but I have a feeling it's not gonna stay chill. <laughs> She ends up great in this part. Why he 
instrumental. You know, with 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 Soho emphasizing the sauce <laughs> and some other lyrics, I had a feeling that this might have a more sexual undertone to it. Um, like it seems so chill and and sweet and cute, but some of these lyrics. <laughs> This night so full of sticky. And then we're going back to the sauce. <laughs> you know what? This is great. This is great. This is preparing me because I'm I'm gonna check out Carl's newest album later. So I think this is <laughs> Slowly preparing me for what's to come. <laughs> Jesus, Edo's part. This deep voice. This part. I think I see now what kind of an echo you want to produce. <laughs> The chorus is really wavy. <laughs> The whistling. Yeah, out of the like a bone, the mommy bone got the chain, the wine just holding. I don't to me. the Sounds so dreamy Interesting. That was such a beautiful song. I think, like I said during the reaction, um, it has such a soft and dreamy, chill vibe to it. Um, very romantic, but also with these a little bit more sensual lyrics. At least just it's not it's not in your face it's more subtle and i like that very vibey you know shine so much in the song with his rap parts but also with his beautiful vocals um i also really like connie in this his voice was so dreamy from the beginning on through all of his parts i really enjoyed his lines we are sadly already at the last song of this album and i'm not sure what the korean name for this is but the english title is Halley's comet Wait, I think I've heard about that comet. Visible from Earth every 75 to 79 years. The only naked eye comet that can appear twice, a, twice in a human lifetime. Appeared in 1986 and will next appear in mid-2061. Oh, that's... wow. There are so many old reports and recordings of observations of this comet. It's insane. It has such a long history. That's cool. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna read into that later. I don't know. I love reading into these random topics. <laughs> so let's see where they are going with this in the song. Um, what's the connection to the song gonna be to a comet? Let's find out. This is Halley's Comet, the last song of this album. I love this acoustic guitar, and I'm in. That's all I need. It sounds so soft. Mm. 
He sounds so soft as well. I love it. Oh. Soul's voice together. That was so epic. I love Xion starting the pre chorus. Um, and Soho, oh my god, this man. There will never be a one as reaction without me simping over Soho, and I still can't believe he is not seeing how great he is himself. <laughs> but wow, that chorus was so epic and beautiful. Back to just the acoustics. Oh. I love that. You are love Shion's voice in the song. This might be my favorite song. It's at least my favorite song from the B-sides. Oh well, technically unforgettable is a B-side too though. If it's not my favorite, then it's my second favorite. It's it's right there with unforgettable for me. This was absolutely everything. Ah, oh, so beautiful the build-up and this whole epic ending. And Soho and Connie's vocals together. Ah uh, I'm gonna die. Apart from them slaying the chorus though, I really, really, really want to applaud Sion because he really stood out to me as well in this. His parts were so, so beautiful. Wow, I love that. And I'm really glad that I love that so much because I also have a stage for this song. 
from their showcase. I'm really happy about that. The quality probably won't be the best, but I don't care. I just want to like, hear the song again and see them sing it. And uh, yeah, let's, let's just do this. Oh, just the way this is starting. Oh, I love the acoustic guitar in it. like this part. It's such a beautiful epic chorus. Uh, like end of a movie type of song. Just feels so beautiful. It's so happy and like, I don't know if that makes sense. on in the pre-chorus a lot. I can't believe Ido actually sounds like that. <laughs> was a beautiful cute fan cam i love that oh and i love this song so much i'm not sure if i like it more than unforgettable or not i think i will have to listen to both songs a little bit more or at least this song and then maybe it will overtop unforgettable i think for now it's gonna stay as a close very 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 close second <laughs> I also really like the vibe of Echo, though the intro was just as amazing as always. And I don't think we have to talk about the title track and Unforgettable anymore because I've done so and um, yeah, this was a really fun album. I just always love one of the B-sides and there's always, always just this, this one song that just immediately 
gets me and just uh, makes me fall in love with them even more for this album it's definitely Tally's comment what a beautiful song what a beautiful album i enjoyed that a lot yeah we are sadly already at the end of this album i had a lot of fun with this but what about you please tell me your thoughts and opinions on this album in the comments down below what is your favorite song how would you rank these anything particularly that stood out to you please feel free to tell me i always love to read your opinions for today that's gonna be it i hope you enjoyed this and hopefully we will see each other in one of my next videos until then stay safe have a great time bye bye